Okay. I'm taking orders for breakfast. How many eggs do you want? I'll have my usual two. How about you, Lionel? One will be fine, Bert. I'm not too hungry. Twenty-one will do. That's an even two dozen. Let's see. One, two... Here you are, Bert. Two dozen eggs. Thanks, Count. That's a lot easier. It wasn't always this easy, Bert. Why? In the past, there were calamities like floods, droughts, and the plague. But they were nothing compared to ancient man's problem of getting breakfast. And ten over easy for you. Eighty-five over easy. One, two, three... Five coming right up. Why is it taking so long to finish those pyramids? I'm not going to live forever, you know. The problem seems to be breakfast, Your Highness. I'll say my toast was burnt to a crisp this morning, but we'll get to that later. No, no, Your Highness, not your breakfast. It's the workers' breakfast. The workers' breakfast? You mean they have breakfast, too? Not lately. You see, the problem is... And by the time they get their breakfast, it's almost time to go to bed. Why can't they work a night shift? They haven't yet invented a light bulb, Your Highness. Who? Hmm. Months went by and the problem of the workers' breakfast had not been solved. The pyramids had not progressed, and the queen was livid. Good morning, my good fellow. Still awaiting your breakfast? Bored? Can't stand the bad news in the papers? And need something to pass the time and tickle the heart? I have here a clever little gizmo called a yo-yo. Up and down, up and down, it's amazing. Hey, buddy, don't bother my customers, huh? Bother them? Why, I'm only trying to put them in a civil mood while they wait for breakfast. See here, you can buy one, two, or a dozen. All neatly packaged and guaranteed to please. And what's more, you owe it to your customers to provide them with something to do while they wait. Oh, all right. I'll take 300 of them. Very wise decision. Very wise. Here's 12. Another 12. That's 24. Another 12. Hey, wait a minute. How do I know there's 12 in each box? Why, simple, my good man. We have an array of three by four yo-yos. That's three rows and four columns of yo-yos. Four, eight, twelve. Twelve yo-yos, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. You can also count by columns. Three, six, nine, twelve. And here's another tight package of twelve. Two rows and six columns. And here we have the large economy size package of thirty. And here... order, you get a giant display tray. Believe me, sir, you won't regret this. Got your egg order. Where do you want them? Uh, put them in those empty yo-yo boxes for now. Fifteen over easy! Uh, uh, one, two, three... Why, that's simple, my good man. We have an array of three by four. And that's three rows and four columns. Three, six, nine, twelve. Right? Hey, I don't have to count each egg. I can count by rows and columns. This is a cinch. Twenty-five over easy! Twenty-five. 
That's an array of five rows and five columns. Coming right up. Your Majesty, you'll be overjoyed to learn that the workers' breakfast problem has been solved. Thank goodness. Now construction on my pyramid can proceed. Uh, not exactly, Your Majesty. What do you mean? We've solved the breakfast problem, haven't we? Yes, Your Grace, but now we have another problem. What's that? A yo-yo problem. And that, my friends, is how the egg carton came to be. And why the pyramids took so long to build. By the way, Bert, your eggs were superb. I think I'll have two more. Coming right up, Tom.